Now to that historic visit, the war against corruption appears to be tightening the news against suspected corrupt individuals with the Kenyan government signing an agreement with the UK that will see stolen proceeds of graft remitted back. The agreement was signed today at State House Nairobi during a visit by the UK Premier Theresa May. Besides the anti-graft agreement, the Premier also announced that the UK backs the continued presence of Kenyan troops in Somalia, saying this would help deal with terrorism. Speaking in the presence of President Uhuru Kenyatta, May announced a new funding package for the African mission in Somalia, as Duncan Heimba now reports. Theresa May arrived in Kenya early morning for a one-day visit, the first made by a sitting United Kingdom Prime Minister since the late Margaret Thatcher's visit 30 years ago in 1988. After holding bilateral talks in camera, they emerged. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Top on their joint agreement was the fight against corruption, and both governments agreed on ensuring that all proceeds of graft hidden in offshore accounts in the UK would be remitted back to Kenya, a similar agreement that Kenya signed with Switzerland in June this year. Depriving people, therefore, of the proceeds of their crimes is one major detriment against this vice, and we are determined to make it painfully unrewarding and expensive to get involved in corruption in Kenya. As I have said, in this forum and others, there is no turning back in Kenya on this agenda. And I welcome the commitment you've made to drive this vice from your country. We stand with you in this fight. Kenya also used the opportunity to pitch for market access in Britain after its exit from European market. We welcome the Prime Minister's assurances that the current duty-free quota for Kenyan exports will continue after Brexit. With regard to the fight against terrorism, African mission in Somalia received a major boost with the UK announcing a new funding for AMISOM. The UK continues to support the commitment of the brave Kenyan soldiers fighting in Somalia against Al-Shabaab. And I will announce a new package of funding to support the African Union mission in Somalia. They seemed to read from the same script on almost all issues. But when it came to whether Britain will support Kenya on her bid to secure a non-permanent membership at the UN Security Council, the UK was non-committal. We believe that uh, we have a useful contribution to make and we are appealing to all our friends, including the United Kingdom, to support us in our bid. Uh, the UK never reveals how we vote on these matters, but what I have discussed with uh, President Kenyatta today is how the UK and Kenya can work more closely together in cooperation as we lead, as see the lead up to that uh, vote taking place. For the second time, the Union Jack is flying on Kenyan territory after the 1988 visit by the then Prime Minister, the late Margaret Thatcher. British PM Theresa May has given an undertaking to boost Kenya's fight against terrorism and graft. Duncan Hemba, KT News, State House.